So, my mom is making cupcakes for work. I'm making cupcakes for myself. And Bendy is trying to get up onto the table and eat the cupcake. So, obviously, she feels left out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make her some cupcakes that are made specifically for puppies and that are safe for them. So, she's getting so heavy. I'm actually going to put her down now. I had to find a recipe that didn't have peanut butter. And it's really hard to find any recipe made specifically for a dog without peanut butter. Um, as you guys know, I'm allergic to peanut butter. That's the whole reason why. But I made, or I found, what is this called? Pumpkin banana pup cake. And they make 24 mini muffins. So I have this mini muffin tray. I'm gonna bring you along and see how good these are. I mean, she'll eat anything. Technically, I could even eat this. So I'm gonna try one in the end and see how disgusting it is. I mean, pumpkin and banana doesn't sound too gross, but like together it sounds disgusting, so. First thing I have to do is I have to spray it with coconut oil. We don't have spray, so what you have to do, this is our big thing of coconut oil because we go through so much of it, is first you take the top off. Someone didn't do that. And you just take a little bit and then you just rub it on in here and coat it all basically the same thing you do with a butter stick when you don't have spray butter or something so i'm gonna do this and i'll be right back okay now that they're all greased what we have to do it says to preheat your oven to 350 which we're baking cupcakes so it's already at 350 and in a large mixing bowl whisk together mashed banana pumpkin egg and coconut oil one banana this is all frozen pumpkin i just like put it into little molds and stuff here you want one um, I'm actually just going to, we're just going to scoop some in here and then I basically got to microwave it to thaw it out, but that's where I'm getting my pumpkin because I don't feel like opening another can just to use half of it and then I have to freeze it again when I have a whole bunch in the freezer. That's probably half a cup. I'll throw in a couple more just to be safe because you know it'll melt. Okay. And then we need one large egg. What happens if someone has chickens and like all their chicken does is lay small eggs, but they need like a big egg. I guess you could do two, right? Coconut oil melted. I'll melt that after that. Flour, rolled oats, baking powder, and baking sugar. Or baking powder and baking soda, sorry. Okay, while my pumpkin is getting um, nice and melty, I'm going to, I don't even know how to open a freaking banana. I'm really just smushing this entire thing. I'm gonna start throwing some stuff in here. Bye, my mom. Sorry, there isn't any left. Hee hoo! Hee hoo! Okay, egg is in. Washy washy. It's a little hot. Let that cool down. Two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. I think Bindi has found the best spot in the world. She's literally directly underneath of you. Can you see her? There she is. She's hiding. I think it's the best spot because I won't ever step on her. Minus if she sticks her leg out and tries to trip me. This is the coconut oil. And this is the pumpkin. Oh God, okay. All in there, lock it. Start. I feel like I'm making a baby puree. Okay, now I'm supposed to stir in all of the dry stuff. I think I'm allergic to bananas. Three fourths a cup of flour. Three fourths. Fourth a cup of rolled oats. These are the oats I'm using. They're the old fashioned oats. Fourth a cup of oats. And we got half a teaspoon of baking soda. Look at how big, oh God, it's so dark. Hold on, don't take them away yet. <laughs> okay, look how big the cupcakes are. <laughs> what did I say? Fourth a cup is orange, right? Or fourth, not a fourth a cup. What the heck is this called? Fourth a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a cup of teaspoon. Half, oh my God, I can't speak. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then it's a fourth a teaspoon, which is the red one, of baking powder. This stuff makes it spread, and soda makes it go up. I've learned that in the past. 
with the video with Justin. And then it says stir till combined, so I'm only gonna put it on one. Or I guess there's, yeah, one is stir. So I'm gonna let that go. And then I basically split it into 24 mini muffins and bake it for 12 to 14 minutes on 350 or until a toothpick comes out clean. So I'm using like this medium size cookie scoop and I'm probably not gonna fill it all the way up. Um, I don't know how much these rise because there's like no picture so. But probably like not all the way up and I'm gonna use this to put them in. Okay, so it doesn't make 24, it makes 19. Um, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop them in 350 for, I'll do like 12 minutes and see if they need to go longer. Ta -da! Okay, so for the icing, basically it says like cream, cheese, maple syrup, and Greek yogurt, but I'm just gonna use some plain Greek yogurt. She doesn't need all that fancy stuff. And then we're gonna do a blueberry on top instead of a cherry. So I'm gonna wash, what did I say? 20, no, 19 hey, blueberries. Get off of that <laughs> Put the chairs up and block her. Oh my god, dog. <laughs> I told you she feels left out. Yours are in the yes. oven. Okay, so I put a baggie of Greek yogurt in here so I can like pipe it so it looks like frosting. Here, you wanna lift the spoon? There you go. Some nice Greek yogurt for you. Mm -hmm. Get all over your nose. Good guess. Healthy probiotics. Good gut health. Help your natural microbiome. <laughs> what? This isn't an ad for Greek yogurt, I swear. That's bright. They didn't really puff, well, like some of them puffed up. They kind of look like, um, oh yeah, because they have pumpkin. <laughs> I was going to say they look like pumpkin bread, but it's because they have pumpkin. Duh. Okay, so we're going to let them sit. And I'll eventually pop them out of here, put them on our cooling racks, and then when they're totally done, you'll see me actually decorate them. Like, cool down, I'm in. Okay, so these are completely cooled down, so I'm actually just gonna space them out a little bit, and I'll probably just do a time lapse of me, like, frosting each one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put them in a container and then frost them. Okay, now I'm gonna frost them. And we're gonna do... Little itty bitty swirls all around okay so they're done this is what they look like um i'm gonna grab two and then we're going to each try one. Oh my god okay oh i'm red but it's fine bendy i got a treat can you sit good girl okay ready this one's yours there you go Do you like it? The muffin part, really good. I'm not a big fan of plain Greek yogurt. I will take the blueberry though. Hold on. Here, you can have the rest of mine. It's actually really good. A lot better than the dog biscuits I made a couple videos back. Um, Bindi really liked them though, apparently. The yogurt. It doesn't taste too good, but it's really healthy for them. So there we go. Do you like them? They yummy. Say thank you for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and tell us what recipe that we can do next. That isn't peanut butter. Okay, you can go. I think this is gonna be like a really fast and short video, but I think it was worth it. Or really good. I might actually eat some without Greek yogurt next time. But if you did vanilla Greek yogurt, I think it would taste a lot better. So, just saying. Bye.